Hi, I'm Sarah Hammerker, Crosswalk.com contributor, and today I'm going to give you four Bible verses and five prayers for Mother's Day. Let's start with the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, may you affirm our callings as mothers this day. Give us a renewed sense of how precious it is to raise the next generation and how the prayers of a mother can impact that generation for you. We pray your guidance and your wisdom and your peace as we parent. Let us not go weary in this sometimes difficult and heartrending call, but let us grow strong in our faith and embrace our motherhood. In Jesus' name, amen. Proverbs 31, 26 27 says, She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. I think that's just a really wonderful verse that kind of encapsulates, encapsulates all that we do as mothers. Let's pray. Lord, help us share your wisdom with our children, our husbands, our families, our friends, our neighbors, our churches, our communities. Let us give hospitality freely and offer kindness to everyone we encounter. Help us to show your love to the world. Amen. Psalm 113.9, he makes the barren woman a home, making her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord. There can be times when we long to be mothers and we're not mothers. There can be times when we really feel barren at home, even maybe our, we are having trouble with our children, maybe, who knows, fill in the blank. But this verse really reminds us that our joy comes from God. Let us pray. Lord, there are women who long for children of their flesh and have not had their prayers answered. There are women who have lost a child. They are not feeling joy at this moment. Comfort their hearts, dear Savior. Bring healing to their wounded souls. Let them feel your love this very day. Let them not feel alone. Let them recognize your kind providence in their life, even in these sometimes difficult circumstances. In Jesus' name, amen. 2 Timothy 1.15 says, I am reminded of your sincere faith. A faith that first dwelt in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and you now, I'm sure, dwells in you as well. What a wonderful reminder of the faithfulness of women in the lives of children who grow up to be godly men and women. Let's pray. Jesus, let us indoctrinate our children in, our, in your holy word. Let us live and breathe your scripture. Let us as mothers be guiding lights to those living in darkness. I pray we mothers would be known for our praying, for our steadfast faith, and for our faithfulness to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Our last verse is Proverbs 31, 28. Her husband rise up and call her blessed, and her husband also, and he praises her. Let's pray. Lord, let us be this Proverbs woman whose children call her blessed, whose husband praises her. That's the longing of our mother's hearts. But if you have instead places in a difficult situation where our children are straying from you and our husbands aren't appreciative of our faith, I pray you will keep us true to you. Give us hope in your resurrection life. Give us peace when our circumstances are chaotic. Give us love when we get hateful words in return. Give us your heart to love with a deep understanding and a look to heaven and eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope these four Bible verses and five prayers for Mother's Day have both encouraged you as a mother, have helped you as a mother, and will give you strength to continue the hard work we have as mothers.